Greetings, mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's and Indie, making strategic, tactical, and survival indie games your face holes. Today's impression is going medieval, which as far as I know is a medieval city or village builder. Obviously this is just a demo, I'm only allowed to play up till summer. After that, it kills it. So I can't save, I can't load, I can only show you Made by Sydney. Let's make Rakeley Village! Oh wow. Okay, as you can see it's very much more of a colony builder than a city builder. For those who don't know, a colony builder requires you to have individuals with good skills. As you can see, carpentry, construction, melee. A city builder doesn't care about the people, it cares about the buildings. So if any time you're actually naming things or have people with specific skills like um, Rimworld, that's a colony builder, not a city builder. A village builder is the same thing, but you may have a couple of people with skills, but mostly you don't care. It's about the growth. That sounds very much like uh, Stronghold music. Is that Stronghold music? Hmm. Okay, so yeah. Welcome to Going Medieval! This is what you can build, this is what I cannot build. Use the WAS to move, tip, customize the camera, world lay Z and X goes up and down, game speed 1, 2. Okay. So the game is built a little bit like, uh, what was it? Stone Half. Only, unlike Stone Half, I imagine this one will get finished. So what you do is you build things like buttering tables and things, you can build them inside. So let's uh, start chopping things. I've only got like three people so far. So let's uh, build a wooden wall. Let's have a look, let's go there. So I want a door. Also, I want a floor. So yeah, it's very much like Stonehearth. Like I say, I imagine Stonehearth will get finished. Stonehearth promised cities and empires. What it gave you was a little 20 man colony game. Because, you know, they weren't actually game developers at the beginning and they didn't really know what they were doing, which is a sad thing really. Stonehearth had a lot of promise. Didn't make it. So I've got Boyd, Abel and Aurabella. I imagine I'll also be needing the food. As you can see, uh, what's this roof? Thatch roof. Will I be needing to do other things? Like, will I be needing a staircase? So that can they build from the ground up? Everything is new. Everything is exciting. But as you can see, there isn't uh, too much here right now because obviously this is a very early access game. So obviously what we're doing right now is learning, building, growing, expanding, probably murdering. Which way is that facing? Can you see your head on this? This doesn't matter? Question mark? Although now I can't see him, was it Z and X they said? Oh. Thank you. Okay, once it's done I can actually look inside. Hey, 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 it's magic, you know. Okay, so we've got five people in that tiny little house. That we'll have to do for now. Then we can start expanding. Huh, construction skills now level one. So we need food. We need equipment. Obviously we need stone. I imagine we'll be needing that to harvest those and these. And these are these mature? Young. So it's, I don't know how long everything is. So we're learning together, but yeah, the game is obviously about slowly building up. Like obviously you can unlock new things, unlock new places, and slowly build a lovely, thriving colony. The map isn't too big, so you will be a little bit limited, but it looks like there is a verticality built in. It's always a good thing to have, verticality. So you like start building multiple areas and just see how things go. Seven. Six. Six. 
There we go. Yeah, the door's one off, but whatever. Actually, I don't like that. As you can see, things are expanding and growing. So yeah, this game is from the Steam Autumn Festival. A lot of things I'm doing currently are Steam Autumn Festival, because otherwise, what's the point? So we'll see how things go. So let's build a campfire here. So I've built a campfire there. Let's put a butcher's table here. That's pretty big. And a basic research table here. Can I build lights? Wooden torch. Yes, we can. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Okay, so we've got plenty of stuff being built, as I can say. But you're trying to build the best darn colony builder I ever can. Of course, I don't know how to get more people. I don't know how to expand my world. And I also I'd quite like to have some more things. But, we're a cabbage field. Uh, I think we're starting. Let's do a 7 by 9 So we've got it going there. Do I want a window? Do I care about windows? I care. I care a little bit about windows, I'll be honest. We'll have a window at the back as well there. Yeah, there we go. I'm actually enjoying this. I love games where you can build your own little houses and things. I always have. The problem, of course, being not many games do it right. Whether this one's doing it right isn't... Well, it's not going to be for me to say, honestly. I don't know if I'll be playing it enough on this demo to actually know if they're doing it right. Which is a problem, but it is what it is. I'll go up. Oh, went, went the wrong way. How do I build up here? How do I do that? Because sometimes, like, how do I... Like, how do I get up here without marking this? Like, that didn't seem to do anything. If I position stairs are blocked... Okay. Now what? Do I have to do that? I guess I have to do that. And there you go. So yeah, certain things like you can't build unless you're starting on the wall for some reason. That was a very odd one. We need food. We of course need resources. We need people. Production is fine. That's very obvious how that works. Okay, just uh, produce meals forever. Requires food. We of course need food going on. Day two is fine. But obviously this kind of game, you don't really care too much about how the people do stuff. You're more interested in, can they build and how do they build? And I'm very curious about that. Because obviously right now, there's only three of them, so I can't really build that fast. But if I can, I should be able to build quite a nice place. But we'll see. Why can't I build any further than that? Some weird restrictions on this. Very weird restrictions. Can I only build from stuff touching the wood? Do I have to build support beams? I can be sanded over. Okay, so a few other things I'm very curious about. But again, maximum yield in six days, cancel that. Okay, that's mature. That's mature. That's mature. Oh, I just cancelled. I apologise, that was not a hunt, that was cancelled. But yeah, with obviously three people, I don't have much I can do right now. I am, of course, like I say, curious about how this is going. Obviously very curious about how things are going. Going up and down, though, seems a little bit like a chore right now. Like, it's showing this here for me. 
but I wasn't able to do too much with it. Do I have to go here? If I do that, that gives me more? I kind of don't understand how this works. Huh. So yeah, obviously the big thing, like I say here, is... Is the construction good? Like, obviously it's a colony builder. It looks nice. You've seen a lot of these things before. Research happens, things happen, stuff happens. There are a lot of good colony builders out there on the game I can highly recommend, of course. Go away. A lot of good colony builders. So, you have to stand out. Obviously, there's a nice style, a nice thing going on. There's a schedule, so very RimWorld-esque. I use RimWorld purely because it's a good way of uh, describing things. A lot of people have played RimWorld. Same kind of jobs description, same kind of that. Vaguely similar kind of research, too, now I'm looking at it. Pistol will be construction. Tailoring. Furniture. Ooh, furniture. Wooden weaponry. Do I need that? But as you can see, I can build clay houses, I can build defences, because it is... Looks like there will be actual military. Spear, reinforced flail. Spear, agriculture, tower shields, armour, iron plate, iron grit. Yes, definitely combat in the game. Current phase dead, get rid of it. Get rid of it. But yeah, obviously, like I say, the construction is the thing I want to care about. I just don't quite get how it's working. Can I only build on bits I have wooden floors to? That doesn't make sense. I have a floor here. Why can't I build here? Is it too far away from this? Do I have to build a wall here and have it connect? No idea. Honestly, no idea. Because obviously the tutorials and things are still early, obviously I'm trying to fumble and guess. No idea. Looks like they can fail construction too. Construction tutorial. Okay. Didn't really help me at all. Base. Yeah. Produ okay. Doesn't help me. Decorations, furniture. Doesn't really explain. I imagine that's because it's still early. But yeah. That's obviously what I'm looking at. The actual colony building seems okay. Not quite sure how to get more people. Maybe they just join randomly. Maybe I research more people. Maybe I put a flag out. I don't have a flag. Okay, I don't put a flag out. Looks like torches are more useful inside than out. But I am imagining you kind of need... Well, yeah, looks like you actually do need walls and things to actually build this. Which is interesting. It looks like you can only go about three tiles out from any other supporting structure. So because I built here, I get to go around it. So you need walls and things. So every three, you require... Ripe. Every three, you require to actually build a wall or some variety. So you can't build massive structures. The furthest you could probably go would be a six tile place. They need to put a wall piece down to do more. So there has to be supporting stuff. I kind of like that. I like that about Castle Story. Although Castle Story itself has a few issues. I like Castle Story back when you could have as many brick trons as you like. Then they sort of dropped it to like 12. Yeah, it still worked. People had a lot of issues with it. That game never fully came into its own either. A lot of games never fully came to their own, I've noticed. 
But yeah, Stonehof. Stonehof's the nearest comparison I can do this. Stonehof combined with Rimworld. So I opened a drink. But time will tell if it's a working Stonehof or another non working Stonehof. Yeah, now I've actually done this bit here, I can actually build more. A deer's on the top of the house, get out! Next, I want a boyer's table just here at the back. Then I obviously want a woodworking bench over here at the back. See how things go. Can I get rid of this? Yes, I can. Good. So, just like that. Are you hungry? Oh, no. It's all right. Do I have any food? Ten stew. Yeah, I've got stewed. Stewed. Got stew. Nine nuggets. Got plenty of limestone. Some hay. What's that? A, f a wolf. And a wolf. Looks like a fox. You sure that's a wolf? We had foxes in this game. Okay, we're gonna cut plants. Wait. Please say only cuts mature ones. Yeah, I'll take it. Cutting and harvesting them. Oh yeah, it actually really does only do that good. I was worried about that. That seems to be working okay. Good, 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 good. So that's all going well. Yeah, construction. Wearing any clothes. The clothes worn out. Can we prioritize this somehow? Oh, I can't believe that's a draw fortress issue. That is okay. They built the wood and it pushed her out so she can finally go eat. Oh, that was just a thing. Okay, so it's a bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Okay, stability is important. Determine if it can attach us. And so the ground has a stability of four. And minus one the further away. So yeah, it can only go up to about three or four. Yeah, sure. That's the third coming. Yes, I'll give them a refuge. There we go. We gain people. Another naked person. Of course we did. It looks like people are given randomly due to events. So yeah, it's an interesting little game, interesting little concept. Construction seems interesting. Research we're gonna have to work with, I feel. Alfred, congrats, you're now officially researcher. Are these all still forbidden? That's a, that's stupid of me. God, I went everywhere, didn't I? Wait, what are these bones? Five bones. They have hit points. Okay, so that's a bit of an interestingly weird one. I'll take it. We've got plenty of food. A lot of food is growing. We'll be able to get loads of cabbages very, very soon. Why is Alfred convalescing? Why are you having issues already? Can't take these people anywhere. Around noon, literally can't take him anywhere. And we are back, sorry about that. So I am now talking over re a recording because apparently I accidentally pulled my microphone out. So this part of it is now me watching things. So right now I'm just messing about, I'm having a look at things. Because um, as I was saying, 
The main thing to me isn't the colony building. It's very much what you'll find in a lot of these style of games. It's nice, it works, it's robust. You know, there's a actual harvest cycle in this game, which is pretty nice. I enjoy the harvest cycle of things, like six days for resources. Obviously, I'm imagining winter uh, makes it so you can't grow things. But the biggest thing for this game of this style is how robust construction is. I've probably said it a few times. This is me checking back about a couple hours later. And the problem is, it's good foundation... Like, actually having it that um, you have to be within four of a wall is pretty nice. That's what it is. Literally, you get a foundation of four when it's connected to the floor, and it gets one less the further away you go. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty nice. It means you have to actually build realistic medieval buildings. Now, I'm kind of curious what happens if you delete something. Like, will a building disappear, or can you cheese the system? But it's probably hard to say because, again, this is an early alpha. But yeah, also, everyone seems to be naked. Everyone is naked, apart from Arabella. And I am, yeah, I'm just curious. Because obviously there's a lot of things going on. You put benches down, it's nice that you can queue up things. It's nice that you can make jobs better or worse, so you can actually decide things. Also, this is apparently fog right now. Like, there's a little bit of an effect going on. That's about it. Yeah, as you can see, I was just actually checking to see if there's actually any caves. I was curious about this. But yeah, I couldn't see any caves. So I had this whole image in my head of Minecraft. I think that did just walked up a wall in the background. I think I just saw that at the corner of my eye. But yeah, it's nice. It works. The building work is a little bit clunky. But it is what it is. You know, it's what you kind of expect. Bit of a shame, but I imagine because it's just an early version, I'll get it better. Now, also, I've noticed darkness isn't that dark. And also, looking around, I do like the fact you can build certain things out of the different resources. Nice, but there's a lot of things. I'm very curious about the armor. Very, very curious about the combat in this system. The fact you can actually build defensive walls. I am imagining some kind of siege. Hopefully, there's some kind of siege, or it might just end up as like one guy shooting at another guy with a bow. It's hard to say. Because obviously this is a very, very small scale game. Now. Look at that deer. No one's looking at the deer because apparently no one's got a bow. Turns out I do in fact have a bow. I just never gave anyone the bow. There's a bow in the stockpile. I'll figure that out in a second. See, I was looking around. I just noticed that there's still loads of things which have been forbidden. Now imagine that's just like early in the game so that you guys don't try and collect everything in the world. But yeah, that's stuff forbidden. Obviously I'd very much like to carry on building my building. And here's the fog. Also, it's not that dark. I could probably do it being a little bit darker. Not to a darker stage where you can't see anything, but a little bit darker for atmosphere. Oh! Oh, here's Salvation. So Alfred's appeared, we decided not to give him back. And now we're under attack. I was curious about this. This is just telling me how to fight. So basically you can draft people. Then you can have to pick up stuff. It's kind of been rolling. So I basically drafted F1 apart from Alfred. Who was the cause of our problems. But is still asleep. I was like what's in our stockpile? Didn't we have um, spears? We do have spears. But what else is that? Is that a crossbow? It might be a crossbow. Look at it. Just having a quick check what I've got. Sturdy crossbow. Obviously I went for a wooden buckler. I don't have a quick check. Apparently spears are only um, two-handed, annoyingly, but it is what it is. So Abel, congratulations, you get a short sword and a buckler. And that's my team. Now one thing I do like about this game is your guys put the equipment on. So, when your guys are wearing stuff, you see it. I've always disliked games where it doesn't pop up. I know it's difficult to do. Because, obviously, having dozens of different style of character, wearing dozens of different style of armor, means a lot of change. But it does m make me really enjoy it. One of the best parts for me of Medieval 2 Total War, when you could upgrade your armor and your peasants started putting on like leather and linen and stuff, it was awesome. 
Now combat is very much as you'd expect. Melee attacks quite close to you. You hit or you miss. You also bounce off of shields as you can see. Armor of course gives you more health and so on. My guys are cheering that person going down. Now, right now, there isn't prisoners. As you can see, I just tried to click on them. There's no prisoners. You can't take people prisoners. Once they go down, they go down. It's a shame, but there it is. So at the moment, I just like picking up equipment, as you can see. It's going, ooh. But yeah, I kept on trying. You can't pick up people. There's no prisons. Maybe in the future. But yeah, we've only got one zone. Actually, we've got two zones. Growing and stockpile. Also, apparently it's not a nice thing to attack people on the ground. Because as you can see, we're kind of just ignoring them. Maybe they'd get up and join me, or they'd get up and leave. Who knows? Either way, they're dead. But yeah, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been a first impression. And hopefully you enjoyed it, and I, of course, see you guys next time. Be awesome, be epic, and of course, as always, please, stay safe out there. Look at the helmet.